Stories recapped here. Today I'm going to show you a drama, romance, sci-fi film called Orbiter 9. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Helena is on a spaceship, the Orbiter 9, on her way to Celeste, humanity's new home. She initially started the journey as a baby with her parents but somewhere along the way, a malfunction occurs with the oxygen system. With limited oxygen, Helena's parents decide to commit suicide, leaving her with enough oxygen to reach an outpost for repairs. Helena spends three years in solitude waiting for an engineer to fix her oxygen reserves. Engineer Alex arrives and stays to repair the oxygen system. Helena is immediately enamored, both by the presence of another human being, and the fact that the engineer is the opposite sex. Helena invites Alex to dinner and Alex accepts. Helena is starved of human interaction, having only her parents to interact with her whole life and being alone for the past three years. The following day, Alex finishes repairing the ship's oxygen system and prepares to return to his outpost. That night, Helena sneaks into his quarters and lays on top of him. Helena tells Alex that she'll be spending the next 20 years alone in the spaceship and this night may be her only chance to be with another human being. Helena leans in for a kiss and the pair have sex. The following morning, Alex heads out, being cold and indifferent towards Helena. Alex suits up and opens the airlock, stepping out of the spaceship into what appears to be a concrete underground hallway. He makes his way up and exits to a wooded area, clearly still on Earth. He loads his equipment to a truck and drives through a secluded wooded area that appears to be a facility housing more bunkers similar to Helena's. Alex drives through security and strict checkpoints reaching a building where scientists monitor the inhabitants of the 10 bunkers where people like Helena are being kept in isolation. Head scientist Hugo informs Alex that the real launch for Celeste may happen in as close as 20 years. Alex expresses his concern about the passengers and the simulated flights and the ethical implications of their research. Hugo stresses that what they're doing will benefit billions and heavily outweighs the suffering of 10 people. Alex heads home and a news report reveals that Alex was the engineer responsible for a spacecraft that launched five years ago, carrying a crew of 207 headed for Celeste. The spacecraft fell into an accident and everyone on board perished. This event set back humanity's advancements to leave for Celeste and Alex is clearly distressed by this fact. The following day, Alex heads to his therapist Sylvia. Overcome by guilt, Alex reveals the details of the project to her. At home, Alex stares at pictures and a recording of Helena and, seems he can't get her out of his thoughts. He monitors Helena live via the camera feed in her spaceship and finally decides to get her out. The next morning, Alex heads to Helena's bunker. Inside Orbiter 9, Helena panics when a warning blares informing her that a spacecraft has docked with her. The airlock opens and she sees it's Alex in regular clothes. Helena is in disbelief as Alex tells her the truth. He asks her to go with him and leave but she refuses until he shows her a camera monitoring her, as well as a microchip implanted in her that monitors her vital signs and bodily functions. Alex hacks into the ship and routes a video recording of Helena so nobody would notice her gone. The pair then head out. Helena steps out of the dark bunker for the first time and is completely dazed by the sunlight. She has trouble seeing and even walking, being new to the air and the environment. Alex tells Helena all about the experiment and stresses that nobody should know about her existence. Helena says she wants to see her parents but Alex stresses that must never know she's made it out. The pair eventually reach Alex's apartment and Helena explores the apartment, discovering whatever knickknacks and gadgets and even experiences rain for the first time. The next day, Alex heads to Sylvia and informs her of what he's done. Concerned for his safety, Sylvia promises to help him out in case things get worse. That night, Helena and Alex head out to the city and Alex shows Helena his favorite spots. The couple shares a meal and Alex shows her new food and experiences she never got to have. They even head to a massive aquarium and Alex explains that soon all the fish will have to live in aquariums as the oceans could become too toxic. Several days pass and Alex shows Helena his home office where he keeps tabs on everyone in all the orbiters. Helena questions how he could bring himself to be involved in a cruel experiment and Alex answers that they are doing this for the right reasons, saying the insight they gain in the experiment would be invaluable when the real Earth to Celeste flights take place. Alex and Helena spend more time outside, even meeting Alex's friends at a club. They discuss the implications of Celeste and what it would mean for the future of humanity. Alex's friend, Dr. Xiao, expresses his concern that humanity is so quick to give up on Earth and yet is willing to send civilians on a decades-long journey to an unknown planet. The following day, Helena notices bruises forming on her back. He takes her to Xiao and he tells him that her skin is too delicate and sensitive, as if she hasn't been exposed to sunlight in such a long time. Xiao suspects that Helena must have something to do with Alex's secretive job. 
Helena rummages through Alex's office and discovers her file. She sees that she's not an offspring but is actually a clone. She finds her surrogate parent's address and goes to find them. Meanwhile, Alex heads back to their headquarters and attends a meeting where Hugo meets with their top investors and head scientists and he stresses the importance of their project. He goes on to say they're the only city with a heavy focus of consideration for the future and how they're paving the way for mankind's survival. This project is humanity's chance for a new start. Alex arrives home to an empty apartment and sees Helena has discovered the truth about her genetics. Meanwhile, Helena finds her parents and confronts them. Her mother tells her that she is indeed a clone but she's a clone of people from several generations back, making her genes extremely healthy. Her father comes and handcuffs her to the railing and decides they should contact the authorities and Hugo. Her mother comes to her rescue, knocking the father unconscious and setting her free. She escapes narrowly and meets up with Alex at his apartment. Helena cries, angry at Alex for keeping the secret from her. Alex gives a heartfelt apology and Helena forgives him. The two now have to go on the run knowing that the authorities and Hugo are now probably after them. Hugo receives word of Helena's escape and meets with their benefactor, Catherine. Catherine is less than pleased to learn that one of the 10 valuable subjects must now be considered a failure and advises him to eliminate the escaped subject. The following day, Alex and Helena meet with Sylvia and they explain the situation to her. She's more than willing to help but before they could talk further, Sylvia hears a noise coming from outside her office. She goes to check and is surprised to see Hugo along with armed men checking each room of the building. Sylvia denies knowledge of Alex saying she's never seen him. Hugo is suspicious and they take her to one of the therapy booths not knowing Alex and Helena are just on the other side of the glass panel. Hugo and one of his men maltreat Sylvia and they notice movement from behind the glass panel. One of the men shoots Sylvia and Alex starts cursing and shouting at them. The men then give chase and Alex and Helena make their way through the building, zigzagging through rooftops, avoiding gunfire. The pair eventually get cornered on a rooftop and have to jump across to the adjacent building. Alex jumps first but Helena gets left behind and Hugo catches up to her. They bring her back to the facility and keep her under guard. Now in hiding, Alex sneaks his way to meeting back with Xiao. Xiao is immediately concerned about Alex's safety and informs him that he too has been harassed by Hugo's goons. He also tells Alex that the biopsy of Helena's skin has found that she's too sensitive to live on the planet in its current state and she has to go back into the orbiter to ensure her survival. Back at the facility, Helena begs to be placed back into the Orbiter 9 so long as they leave Alex alone. Hugo denies her and meets with Catherine, who tells Hugo to kill Helena as it's costing them too much to run the Orbiters. Personnel prepares to kill off Helena but Alex arrives, forcing his way in through security and offering Hugo a deal. He's willing to enter back into Orbiter 9 and continue the study with Helena. Their leverage, he reveals, is the fact that Helena is pregnant with their child. He says this is what Hugo wanted all along so they can study the long-term effects of natural birth and actually raising a child inside Orbiter. Hugo agrees and the couple head back into Orbiter. Several years pass and an aged Hugo waits outside Orbiter 9. A young teenage girl steps out of the bunker, welcomed by personnel of the project. She looks around and smiles, hearing the roar of rockets launching for Celeste. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.